Oswald and Aidan both lived what they believed and what they taught. It was evident from the way they carried themselves, the way they spoke, that they truly, truly believed in the one that they taught about. In fact, Oswald was so generous of heart and so humble of spirit that one example of his generosity was as he was sitting down with his court for an Easter feast. The steward who was in charge of the poor, of giving to the poor, came to him in the hall and said there were lots of people, of poor people at the, at the gate, hungry poor people begging for alms. And Oswald looked around at his court, at these silver dishes filled with food, and he ordered them taken out and to be given to the people at the, at the gate. And, he said, uh, share the plates among them too. Aidan, who was sitting on Oswald's left, right, <laughs> lifted up the arm and said, may this arm never perish. He was so impressed with Oswald. Now, not only did Oswald live in a fair amount of splendor, he also was a warrior king because he had to defend his country. On each border there were skirmishes and he would have to go and quell and keep the people in, in, into his kingdom. Not only that, he became the overlord of so much of England that he was rightly referred to as the first king of the English. <laughs>